Pfizer wants the FDA to grant emergency use authorization of its new Omicron-driven COVID-19 booster for kids ages 5 to 11. As doctors are concerned, a rise in cases could be on the horizon. Way 31's Olivia Schuler joins us live now. And Olivia, is there a push for parents to get their children boosted before the winter months? Marie, doctors are anticipating that there will be a surge in both COVID-19 and flu cases as we inch closer to the winter season. Now, once there is that emergency authorization for the age group 5 to 11 to get that Omicron booster, doctor that I spoke to said that parents should talk to their pediatrician before rushing to get that booster shot. Now, Dr. Damian Fierro says the Omicron-driven booster shot is designed to target the most popular strain of the virus right now. That's a BA4 and BA5 strain. He says based on trends we're seeing in other areas, we can expect COVID to become more prevalent in our community. The UK, you see an uptick. In Germany, you see an uptick. Um, so we do anticipate um, a significant uptick in cases. Probably not as much as we've seen in the past, but uh, you never know with new variants. The Omicron-driven booster shot was already authorized by the FDA for those 12 and up. That vaccine is administered at 15 micrograms. The one for kids 5 to 11 will be 10 micrograms. And in order to get the booster, it should be two months since your previous COVID-19 shot. Now, the FDA's emergency authorization for the Pfizer booster shot should come within the next couple of weeks. Now, Moderna has already also put in for its emergency use authorization for that age group of 5 to 11 for its Omicron-driven booster shot as well. Reporting in Huntsville, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News. All right, thank you, Olivia. According to the state health department, nearly 6.4 million vaccine doses have been administered in Alabama since the vaccine became available.